Well, hello, and welcome to week number two of Chem 300. I wanted to review some things for this week and make sure you know which assignments are due and when. I'm in the, uh, so actually, let me first go here to the home page and just remind you that I have office hours from 6 to 7 p.m. today, that's Monday, uh, and every Monday. So also on Tuesdays and Thursdays at the time listed here, times listed here, and that you do not need to make an appointment to come to these office hours. Please just come, ask questions, get things cleared up, and be efficient with your time. Now, if you cannot make these times, please do email me, and please feel free to email me a PDF of your work. A picture works as well for emails, but um, PDFs are always best, and uh, they're also always uh, usually smallest too. So, um, But a, a, a picture works too. So uh, I hope to see you at office hours. Now let's get back to what we're going to do this week. Now um, you're going to have a week two introduction, which sort of overviews what we're doing. You'll have a lecture outline two. Um, and again, you'll be uh, downloading that or uh, getting the notes, getting my lecture outline, writing your notes onto it, and submitting the whole thing as one PDF. The lab workshop, well, let's skip to homework for a second. Homework for week number two. Uh, is going to be similar, meaning that there are oop, 18 problems, so a few more problems than last week. You will have to submit a PDF of your work. That's new. And uh, if you, when you go to this, you'll see that it says, please submit a PDF of your work for all the asterisked problems, like uh, 02-18, 02-17. You can see that there are a number of tutorial videos to help you with some of these problems. And as we go back up, you'll see we have some fill in the blanks, some numerical answers, some, uh, that's the thing that might be it. Yeah. Oh, and a fib plus, which has more than one fill in the blank. Um, okay. So now to lab. Lab this week will be a lab workshop. What does that mean? That means there's no actual wet chemistry, um, but you do have to... Um, yeah, so you do have to solve problems, and it'll be good practice this week on scientific notation. Let me tell you a little bit about how this is going to work. So there are three labs, and uh, the labs are being co-taught by myself and uh, Dr. Agnew, Dr. Marisa Agnew, who um, will be working with me. And what we have decided is, first off, that you will be able to access all of your lab materials in the lecture section in Canvas. So you will not need the lab sections in Canvas. Second thing we've decided is that for workshops, so uh, they will be graded out of 10 points, eight of those points based on completeness, and two of those points based on uh, randomly selected problems from the worksheet or the workshop that we will grade explicitly, okay? So, uh, and look for those uh, grades. And if you, um, and then uh, we will talk about uh, the actual lab, the experiments coming up. Uh, you should be obtaining the experiment uh, materials, the kit materials. And the kit materials, well, let's see. So those are going to be up here. Let's see, I think you need them for week four or five. Syllabus. Let's go to syllabus. And one thing you need is you definitely need a uh, kit of materials from the SCC bookstore. And um, you'll also need a list of materials that will be down here in our syllabus. Ah, yes, here we go. Required materials. Well, there's the Chem Libre text, uh, which is online. There's the equipment needed for labs, uh, goggles. Um, and you've got a link right here. We've also got a labware kit with a cost and a link right there. And you'll also need a jeweler's scale. Uh, let's see. You'll need some distilled water, some distilled white vinegar. Yes, you will. Some baking soda and some salt. Some of these things you may have at home. The one thing I have not updated is it does not specifically say that you need the kit from the SEC bookstore, the Chem 300 kit. 
Hopefully you already know that. I will change this site very soon to include that. And if you have any questions on how to get a hold of any of these materials, please let me know. Let's see. Um, you will need some plastic wrap. You will, I don't think, need a small glass or ceramic dish. And I don't think you will need 50 grams of coins. So I will change these things as well. I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Welcome to week two. I hope to see you in office hours and I hope to, and or I hope to hear from you via email for anything you need to get success in this class.